what's going on everybody you're shout out to cnc for that intro but uh i'm headed to oklahoma it is about 8 30 i've been on the road for about 20 minutes or so i'm actually in greenville texas at the moment i am roughly 45 minutes south of the oklahoma border it takes me five hours to get to jason's place so i got a lot of stuff to think about on this trip uh, think about future projects we're going to work on at his place uh, future projects we're going to work on in my place uh, just things that are going on in my life with my family and it gives you a lot of time to think about stuff so uh, yeah if you didn't watch my live chat last night it started out with the bang i think most of the people i'd say probably 90 percent of the people thought it was funny and know how to uh take a joke and then you got the other 10 percent that had to go down in the comments to start bitching about it but it is what it is that's youtube by the way if my camera's shaking it's uh i'm using my cell phone and when i have it on the uh selfie mode the stabilization does not turn on so i apologize for that but uh yeah i had fun last night uh if you're wondering i went to uh walmart on black friday no i did not fight crowds i waited till the evening to go i needed to pick up some groceries i didn't think it through and uh yeah i saw that light i told matt that i needed to get another ring light because my other one the stand broke on it so let me fix this real quick what's up good looking um but yeah the uh stand broke on my other one and i needed to get a new one so i went to walmart picked it up it was 20 bucks normally it's 39 or yeah 39 dollars about 40 dollars and i thought that that was a deal so i got it and i got home i didn't know it did all these different colors and stuff I turned it on and red and blue lights started flashing. So did ideas in my mind. And I decided to, I'm just gonna do a prank at some point. And I figured why not on my live chat, Matt and I were talking just before the live chat and uh, decided that we wanted to do this little uh, prank or whatever the hell y'all wanna call it, I don't really care. Uh, so he was like, I got some handcuffs. We can act like I'm getting arrested or something. And uh, I was like, all right. so. I flipped it on and at the beginning of the live chat you could tell I wasn't looking at the comments because I told Matt that if I looked at the comments I would start laughing this thing's not straight and uh, still not straight shoot dang there we go and uh, so I turned the lights on it was flashing and then uh, I'll just playing it up like oh Matt just got pulled over I was trying to think of something I was like speeding um, <laughs> some chick was just staring at me I get a lot of looks like they look at the YouTube sticker on the back of the car and then they like kind of look and then they just shake their head like, what a dumbass. And I'm like, I know. But uh, yeah, so Matt got arrested last night and uh, he was like, I'm gonna run around the back and I'm gonna flash the light through the window like this. And he actually did a good job. It was a, uh, it looked like somebody was kind of chasing him and then I was just doing a little bit of improv. So I went, ran to the back door and started screaming like, Matt, what are you doing? And uh, I told Matt the only mistake that I, think we did was we should have stayed outside for a little bit just to have the comments going in to see what people are saying but uh yeah have a sense of humor uh like i said most of you guys do a handful of y'all don't and uh yeah it just it blows my mind on how uh sensitive people are nowadays and one guy complains on the last several videos about my back the blue flag saying how disrespectful it is and even in going on Matt's video telling him, I guess it was on his or tag Matt in my video saying like, for him to tell me to take it down. And um, I don't know if that guy understands, like my dad's a police officer. I know the meaning behind the back the blue flag. Yes, I understand some people think it's disrespectful to the American flag. I personally don't. I respect the American flag and I respect that flag. So um, I don't know, it is what it is. And then one last thing, and then I'll get back to what I'm gonna be up to for this trip. One other lady said that I'm full of lies. I'm all my videos now. And I told her, I was like, if you, if you don't like it, why do you continue to watch basically? And if you don't like it, just unsub, it's easy as that. Like, I didn't say it that nice, but uh, if somebody's gonna go on my channel and call me an asshole or something like that, I'm gonna be a little bit rude back to you in the comment. Um, I don't know why people expect uh, YouTubers not to say anything in comments. Like. If somebody says something stupid to me, I'll say something stupid back. It's just, it is what it is. Like, if you don't want something said to you, don't leave a rude comment. Now, let's get back to business. This is my breakfast today. This is beef jerky. Jason got me hooked on these. 
It is a uh, old trapper. I got the peppered kind, beef jerky. These are delicious. I'm gonna eat some while I talk, even though I'd said I wasn't at the beginning. But see, camera shaking. I'm on a bunch of bumps. I thought about going live just on the road trip just to, get, uh, to have a video out for today, but I just went live yesterday, so I figured I'd just make a, a one-hit wonder video and just upload it as I go. Kind of like coffee with the Crockers, but this is uh, better. This is driving with Jared Crocker. Comment down below if y'all have had this before, this jerky. But Jason said that uh, Danielle had a few days off and asked if I want to go up there and help him out. Oh, this video is going to be epic, epic fail. And that's why I wanted to come up there and help him out. I said, sure, why not? Um, that was after like three days of not responding. Then I finally said, all right, I'll go. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to work on. I know he mentioned at one point possibly working on the ceiling in the shed to house. And I know how hard that is. Uh, trying to do that by yourself uh, I did part of it over here at the tiny house where I uh, clear coated all of it and then alright truck hold on buddy that's a pretty cool truck like an old school like yellow truck but uh yeah uh, did that at Jason's place on a tiny house I put up half the ceiling there by myself and it was uh, it was hard it, it's hard going up and down the ladder and Especially with me, it's harder for my, my knee to do it, but I don't know exactly what he's thinking on doing on the ceiling, if we're even gonna do that, or if we're gonna put up some sheetrock or what, but uh, we're definitely gonna get some work done. I know uh, I'm already looking forward to the comments of saying how good of a worker I am and how lazy Jason is. That happens every time I go to Oklahoma. Uh, they'll just, even though I've said don't bash him on my channel, Everybody still does, it seems like. Not everybody, I shouldn't say that. There's a lot of good people. But uh, there's a handful of people that have to get on there and just say like how bad Jason is and lazy and all that stuff. But you're such a good worker. I'm like, how the hell are you going to make fun of my family and then turn around and try to butter my biscuit? I don't think so, Tim. Uh, but, yeah. It is what it is. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. I hope Jason's got some good food because I brought a good appetite. He said bring a, what did he say? bring your work gloves which i forgot and he said bring a good attitude which i left that back in texas too so i still got about five hours on the road no i'm not going to keep you guys here for the whole five hours i just wanted to pop in say hello people um i wish i could i wish i could post more on the uh adventures with uncle jerry page that i started but unfortunately i haven't hung out with him all week he's been uh, helping the neighbor out her car's messed up so um i guess he knows how to do some of that stuff so he's been out there working on her car all week and uh hopefully when i get back from my trip we can get him to come over and uh not just drive around maybe have him come over and uh have a little barbecue or something he's gonna talk trash about matt because the one time jerry came over matt cooked hamburgers for him matt may have had a little too much to uh sip on and uh didn't cook the hamburgers very well and uh jerry never lets matt live that down so um uh, when I get back, I'll have Jerry come over and maybe Matt can redeem himself. I think that'd be an epic video. Matt said he might actually do an Adventures with Uncle Jerry while I'm gone. So if he does, I'll go ahead and post that on the channel. I think that'd be pretty funny to see how those two clowns interact with each other. Uh, I think there's a cop behind me. Where's my back the blue flag when I need it? Oh, that's right. I got one on the back of my car. So we'll see, but... Is that a cop? If it's not, then it's somebody that did a U-turn and is hauling ass right behind me. I may just have to be live a little bit longer until I find out. So if I get pulled over, it'll be on this video. No, that's not a cop. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I've been uh, talking way too long today. And it's been a lot of gibberish and nonsense, but hey, it is what it is. I guess the next video, you'll see me over there at Jason's place, interacting with Jason and Danielle. I just shot some metal out the back of my car. I don't know what happened, 
But anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.